Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be reviewing all the products from my last Tri Beauty box, which was the December 2020 box. I got the Tri Beauty box for all of 2020. I really wanted to have it for a year, kind of the same way I did BoxyCharm for a year before deciding the pros and cons and whether or not I wanted to keep it. With uh, the move that I made in January with my new makeup budget, it didn't really fit into my new budget, so I stopped it in December. But I really did enjoy the whole year that I had. And I just wanted to go ahead and after testing the products from the December box thoroughly, come back to give you guys my thoughts on these last products. If you missed the rest of my Tri Beauty Box videos, I have a whole playlist of them. I'll throw it up in the cards and let's jump into these reviews. All right, so starting off with the palette, I was actually pretty impressed by it. This is the Poppy Cosmetics Neon Drip Palette, which retails for $29. I am wearing two of the shades on my lower lash line today, the two purples, the matte purple, and then the shimmer purple just on my lower lash line. I have to say, I really like these shades. It was very pretty and like unique, palette design and I really liked the shades. I loved the green and the yellow shade. I did a really bright uh, green look with those that I really enjoyed. The only downside is that the shimmers are not super super like pop of shimmer shimmery. I wouldn't exactly use them on my lid by themselves. A glitter glue definitely helps but even then they don't really pop as much. I kind of just like using them as like another the way I would use a matte like in transition in my crease lower lash line that kind of deal. Overall, I like the palette and I will keep it in my collection and I'm glad I got this as my last palette. Next, we have a blush from The Balm. This is the Down Boy blush, which retails for $21. I have to say, I really liked the blush. It's a very pretty blush. Is it $21 worth of pretty? No, I don't think so. Personally, if um, I bought this during the Balm sale, because I don't know if they still do it, I hope they do, but twice a year, typically they do the 50% off sale, which is when I would go and get my favorite face powder, which is a translucent sexy mama powder. If I got it during the 50% off sale, I would think it's worth it. Yeah, this is right around 10 to $11 of blush for me. It's a very pretty shade. I really like the packaging and the blush, and I love their whole aesthetic with like the old timey kind of I don't know how you'd call that, like vintage pictures. I just, I really like their aesthetic and I like the blush. So I'm glad I actually finally got to try a full size balm blush. Next, let's talk about the liquid lipstick that I got. This is from Sola Look and this is the Brenda Loves Dylan liquid lipstick. This retails for $14. Now all the references went wider, wide. <laughs> now all the reference in this name and everything went right over my head because I never watched 90210. It was kind of before my time and also I don't like the kind of TV, but I love the packaging and I really liked the shade itself. It's a gorgeous red and I love the applicator on this. If you want to see me putting this on and wearing it, I wore it for my Valentine's Day look. I'll throw that up in the cards. It was a nice long try to get ready with me, but I liked the shade. It's a little drying, but not too much. So I didn't think it was terrible. $14. Do I think it's worth $14? Meh. I probably pay between like $7 and $10 for it. Next, we have this eyeliner from Iman Cosmetics. This is the <laughs> Pencil in Nut Bush, which again, I think is a very unfortunate name. This retails for $10. It's a really nice liner. I like the shade. It's very pretty and creamy, and it works really well in my waterline. And I like that it has a sharpener right there in the lid. Uh, yeah, it's a really good middle of the road liner for me. I don't think $10 is too crazy for this, especially because it's a pencil and you can sharpen it all the way down. So I'm gonna keep this and use it in my collection. Alrighty, last and unfortunately, certainly least, <laughs> we have this moisturizer. Let's talk about this moisturizer. This is from Avant Skincare. This is the Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream. Now, if you remember from the video where I unboxed this, <laughs> You'll remember that I went a little bit bananas at the price point. This is a full-size product. I did cut it open to get every last little drop out because of course I did. So this full-size product, they said retails for $134. $134. I looked it up online in that video and I think I saw it retailing on their website for $125. So we do know it was a bit... What's the word? Overheight? No, what's the word? They inflated the price a bit for the card, but that's still $125. It's ridiculous. So I used up the whole thing. Overall, it did not feel like an $134, $25 moisturizer. It didn't. It was fairly heavily scented, which I thought would irritate my skin. It didn't, but if you don't like heavy scents, it's not really going to work for you. Hmm. I mean, it was a nice scent. It smelled kind of like the Dulce and Gabbana light blue perfume. It's just kind of 
the vibe that I got from it. Um, it was not really that moisturizing, which is surprising. Like I would put this on and then like 30 minutes later would need to put an extra moisturizer on top, which again, for over $100, I don't need to do that. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> so overall, this was just a huge dud. And the fact that they're selling it at that much is basically highway robbery. And if they're just inflating the price to make you feel better, like, oh, I got this out of steel. Like, mm. this is a product where if I saw it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I wouldn't even pay Marshalls or TJ Maxx money for it. It's just, it was, that was a dud. That was a dud. All right, so that was everything in my last Tri Beauty box, the December 2020 box. Overall, I had a really good experience with Tri Beauty box and I would recommend it if you have a smaller collection or you're new to makeup and you wanna start experimenting and bringing new things to your collection and trying new brands, I think it would be really great for you. If you already have a big collection and you're already like struggling a bit, trying to keep everything organized, or if you're bringing too much into your collection, I wouldn't recommend it or recommend having a subscription box in general because it's easy to get overwhelmed when you're having products come to you that often. That being said, this box only came every other month. So it was a little bit expense, a little bit more expensive than a, a, like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy, but you only got it every other month. So I personally thought it was worth the money. I enjoyed it. It's just no longer part of my budget at this point in time, but I would possibly look into getting it again in the future if my budget allowed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what subscription boxes you have, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Man, I'm just loving the space buns recently. I don't know why. I'm just having a lot of fun with them. <laughs> and they're definitely uneven, but I don't care.